Hey there kids, welcome to sort of Pioneer Club Online. <laughs> so I know this isn't what Pioneer Club usually looks like. Usually you're sitting with your friends, playing games, that kind of thing. I know not being around your friends can be hard, but I hope you'll still be able to enjoy it as we sing some songs, we have a Bible story even, and you should have received some activities in the mail that I hope you can follow along with too. So before we get started and jump into all the fun, I am going to pray for us very quick. So if everyone can close their eyes and bow their heads, please. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the kids that are watching this video. I hope that they are all staying safe and I hope that you keep us safe and that we can all be back with our friends very, very soon. In your name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Right hand over your heart. Ready, so I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for which it stands, one brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and in love. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. The Lord your God is with you, he is mighty to save. The Lord your God is with you, he is mighty to save. Two years after rising to the throne of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar had a terrible dream. This dream frightened him so much that he couldn't sleep. King Nebuchadnezzar, in anguish and desperate to learn what the dream meant, called in all the wise men known to him to see if any of them could interpret his dream. The wise men came before King Nebuchadnezzar and asked him to tell them about his dream. But the king refused. King Nebuchadnezzar demanded that the wise men first tell him what he dreamed, and then what the dream meant. The king declared, If you can do this, I will give you great rewards. If not, I will have you put to death. In disbelief of the king's request, the wise men said, 
King Nebuchadnezzar, what you ask is impossible. No one can do what you ask. Only a god could tell you your dream. This made King Nebuchadnezzar so angry that he ordered that all his wise men be put to death, including Daniel and his friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When the king's chief soldier, Arioch, came to capture Daniel, he asked Arioch what was going on. Arioch explained the situation, and Daniel went to King Nebuchadnezzar to ask for time to interpret the dream. The king agreed, and Daniel hurried back to see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego so that they could pray for God's help. That night, God revealed to Daniel the king's dream and its meaning. The next morning, Daniel went to Arioch and said, Don't execute the wise men of Babylon. I will interpret the king's dream. When Arioch brought Daniel before King Nebuchadnezzar, the troubled, tired king asked Daniel, Can you tell me what I saw in my dream? Daniel replied, No one could tell you this, but there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries. He showed me your dream and what it means. Daniel told the king, God showed you the future through your dream. In your dream, you saw a statue with a head of gold, chest and arms of silver, belly and thighs of bronze, legs of iron, and feet of iron mixed with clay. Then a rock smashed the statue. The rock became a mountain that filled the whole earth. You, king, are the head of gold, and every other part of the statue are the kingdoms that will come after you. The rock represents a kingdom that God will establish that will last forever. King Nebuchadnezzar bowed before Daniel and showed him great honor for all that God had spoken through him. The king said, Surely your God is the God of gods and the Lord of kings, the one who can reveal the greatest of mysteries. For his service, King Nebuchadnezzar promoted Daniel to a high position and placed him in charge of all the wise men. At Daniel's request, the king also promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to rule over all the provinces of Babylon. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on 